Well, this past weekend, a non-conference series for St. Mary's right here at Alumni Memorial Fieldhouse. Well, the Foresters grabbed six goals on the weekend, five of which came in the second period. It was a 2-1 win on Friday and then a 4-4 tie on Saturday night. One of the most exciting weekends of the season is upon us as Lake Forest is going to host MSOE on Friday night and then they'll head to Mequon, Wisconsin Saturday to square off against Concordia, Wisconsin. I'm Cam McGuire, the voice of Forrester Hockey, and coming up next, joining me in this week's episode of Inside Forrester Hockey is head coach Pat Keller. It'll be the last weekend that the viewers have to see our mustaches, but you can still donate to the Lake Forest College Men's Hockey Movember page by clicking the link below. Well, Coach, let's look at this past weekend, a 2-1 win on Friday and then a 4-4 tie on Saturday. For a team that had no wins, they looked pretty solid. Yeah, I mean, we, we knew coming in the weekend that they were a much better team than the record had shown. They had played um, a lot of really tight games against some, some really good competition. So I, I think that, you know, their record was deceiving. Um, we knew both games they were going to come out, um, you know, and play real hard. Um, you know, so for us, it, it was it was a weekend where we had to be careful not to not to go in without a focus. And um, I thought for the most part, the guys played well. Obviously, you know, Saturday you, you wish for a diff different result, but um, it, it was a really competitive weekend. I think two two entertaining games. So, a little positive to take away on Saturday. Four goals, obviously. Two of them came from Go Cody Gudorzi, and then one from Austin Axe. So those are two guys you guys look to heavily to score goals. Yeah, I mean, they're two guys up front that uh, that are, are good offensive players for us, for sure, and it was good to see them get on the board. Um, yeah, I mean, to, to score four goals, I mean, it's, uh, it's it's been a little bit of a grind for us this year, scoring goals, um, you know, outside of one game. So it's uh, it was good to, to pot four. Like I said, it's uh, you're definitely hoping for a different result when you got a two-goal lead in the third period there. But um, at the end of the day, if we can have a little bit more consistent offense up front, I think we'll be able to, um, you know, win a lot of games here moving forward. A couple things to work on, obviously face-offs, just under 50% this season. Saw Coach O'Malley on Monday working with the guys after practice a little bit, but is it something technique-wise, is it something mentally that the guys need to engage more, and is it something you guys need to lay on them a little bit more? Yeah, I mean, I think it's a combination of both things. I think obviously there's, you know, responsibility that falls with the centermen to, to make sure that they're, um, you know, they're working on it. They're working on draws after practice, things like that. Um, you know, there is some te technique to it, but it's also, I think, a mentality or team mentality where, um, you know, we're maybe trying to win too many draws um, clean, you know, and, and it's not working out for us. So we have to be able to change our mindset and say, okay, you know, maybe it's more tie ups, maybe it's more 50 50 pucks. With or defensemen and D zone draws helping out, you know, with with 50-50 face-offs, and um, you know, I think just our, our team mentality has to be uh, better on draws, more engagement, and, and not just solely relying on our centermen to win the draw clean. Look at this past weekend. You only gave up two goals on the power play. You guys had 15 infractions. Discipline's going to be a huge part moving forward. Yeah, I mean, it's it was a uh, it was a weekend with without a ton of discipline from our team, unfortunately, when it came to, to penalties. And and we're typically a team that that's used to seeing a few more power plays a game than the opposition. Um, you know, so we addressed that and talked about it as a team. Um, you know, I think anytime you're you're giving up that many power plays against, it's just a momentum suck. You know, you have certain guys that aren't aren't getting on the ice as much as you like. Maybe guys that aren't on the on the PK or aren't on the power play, and it just becomes a special teams battle, and um, you know it can really take some momentum away from your team. So I think you know moving forward, uh, I think it's been addressed. Um, you know, I think the guys understand how important it is for us to you know play five on five hockey or or you know be on the man advantage. So um, I don't expect that to be be a big problem moving forward. Well, flipping the page here this weekend, two huge games, both opponents coming in the uh, South Division with you guys, MSOE on Friday at 7 p.m. at home, and then travel to Mequon, Wisconsin on Saturday against Concordia. These are two huge matchups. Yeah, I mean, like you said, anytime you know you're playing, um, you know, South Division opponents, obviously the stakes are are raised, and and for us to date, these are our two biggest games of the season. Um, you know, it's always. Um, Fun to play this weekend. I think you know both MSOE and Concordia, two um, two good teams, um, generally produce some. 
Um, and I think for our guys, they're, they're fun games to play in. You know, they're, they're teams that are always kind of in the, in the playoff race and um, we're battling for position with. So um, definitely looking forward to the weekend. You know, I think for us, we, we need to have, you know, a little bit more consistency to our game. You know, we had a decent weekend this past weekend, but, you know, moving forward, try to string together some, some really solid games back to back, hopefully. Before we wrap things up, Concordia last season. You guys obviously lost them both times in the regular season. You got the better end of them in the playoffs. You got to imagine they're going to remember that one. Yeah, I mean, I, I definitely think, you know, wh whether or not it's a focus for their team coming in, um, it, it's something that in the back of their minds, I'm, I'm sure those guys will remember. And um, But all four games last year, you know, were, were really competitive. Um, they obviously got the better of us in the regular season. And, um, you know, we got them in playoffs. We were, we were playing, I think, pretty well down the stretch there. And um, But but all four games, really exciting. Um, it, it's always a battle against those guys, you know, fast pace, um, up and down the ice, lots of chances both ways. So um, I certainly expect uh, no different this year year from, from them. Well, Friday night at Alumni Memorial Fieldhouse, it's going to be a whiteout 7 p.m. right here and then on the road on Saturday against Concordia at 7 p.m. as well. That'll do it for this week's episode of Inside Forrester Hockey.